God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Don't let the devil take your joy away. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me try this. That's me. Good. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Well, um, the title this morning, I will be preaching, Who is Leading You? In the title, I will be preaching, Who is Leading You? That's the title. Who is Leading You? You know, in life, I don't know when part through my own experience, but I was small, I always look up to some certain people. Just want to follow them. Just want to be like them. Just want to act like them. I believe many of us, you know, when before when we came to Christ, when we watch a movie, we see a lot of movie star, you know, all the stuff. You know, we, we, we want to act like them. We want to, we want to live like them. I don't know for, for Lao, for Asian, Usually when we small, you know, we, we, we like Bruce Lee all day. Right. Everybody want to be like Bruce Lee. Yeah. Yeah. But he bad, he can fight everybody, you know. But you know, let me tell you, everybody is looking for role model to follow, to be like them. Now, let's look, let, look up, look at the scripture. In Psalm 16, 8. The Bible say like this, I have set the Lord always before me because he has my right hand. I will not be shaken. The book of Psalm most of the book of song wrote by King David. It is said, I have set the Lord always before me. You see the word always, you summer. It not only sometime, it's always set the Lord before me. Now, we have to realize that everything we do in life, if God is not before us, if God not go with us, if God not behind us, and everything we do in life is empty, is useless, is meaningless. If God not before me, So King David understand when he say he said, you know, he put the Lord, he always put the Lord in front of him, before him. Another word, he let the Lord lead him. He let God lead him. So we have to we have to learn from his experience and his example. We need to set the Lord before us and lead us. You know what happened? If we try to do things in our own according to our own skill or understanding or strength, we will not go that far. We will not go that far. So we need to let God. We need to set, let God to be in front of us, to lead us. So King David understand that he let God always put God to be in front of him. In other words, he allowed God, he lead, let God to, fight, to, uh, to lead him. We need to understand that. You know, sometimes why life is so tough, it's so hard. Because we not allow God to lead us. We want to go before God. You know, when God, you see, when King David, he allowed God to lead him, what happened? I want you to see this. He said, I will not be shaken. I will not be afraid. We will not be afraid. In other words, you know, life is not easy on earth. Life is tough. Be facing problem, challenge every day. But how can we go through? How can we break through? Only we allow God to be the, to lead us. That's why King David 
please understand that when we let God lead us, come on, give God praise. It's okay. Amen. Come on. Amen. We hear you say, I will not be shaken, will not be afraid. Yeah. Sometimes we're so terrified. We shake, we scare, we are afraid because we not allow God to be go before us. We want to do things according to our own understanding, our own under, our ability. We will not go that far. We have to allow God to be the head. That's why the Bible says Jesus is the head of the church. Amen? Amen. It's not any church denomination. It's not about pastor. It's not about preacher. It's about Christ. It's the head of the church. Amen. We have to let God to be the center, we have to let Christ to be the center. We have to let God to lead us everything that we do. Not just in ministry, in family, in workplace, in everything that we do. That we will not be shaken. That we will not be afraid or terrified. Therefore, the Bible says, what eight? Therefore, my heart is grab and my tongue rejoice. King David said, when God is going before me, when God in me, that's when my heart is rejoice. Amen. Not just that, he said, my heart rejoice and my tongue, what happened? He said, my heart is grab and my tongue rejoice. Many times, as a child of God, as a Christian, we don't have joy. I can't let you come out. You know what happens when we don't have joy? Everything that we do, we're not happy. We get mad, we angry, we fight all the time. Because we don't have joy. But how can we have joy? How can we be grand? In order to have joy, in order to be great, we need to let God to be God. We need to let God to be the God that leading our life. How do you know my father will put song on our lives for us? Your life and my life, there's no different. Children, compare on God's life, but they're different. We all face problem every day. Even I preach here every Sunday, I still have problem. I still have facing problem. But I thank God, just like we learned from Sunday school, Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. You can do all things. We can do all things because Christ, because God is strengthening us. Amen. Amen. So therefore, we have to depend on him. Why many questions? We walk with God and we have it. And we stop. Why? Why we stop? Because we don't have strength to move on. Because we don't have strength to go on with God. We need His strength. We need His power. We need His anointing. How do we need His power? How do we need to Why? How do we need His power? Why do we need His power? When we talk about strength, it's part of joy. When you have joy, you have strength. Amen? Amen. Amen. Therefore, my heart is glad. My tongue will joy. My body also will rest secure. He talking about his heart. He talking about his tongue. He talking about the body also. We will rest in his presence. You know, in our culture in this day, we talk about anxiety, we talk about concern, we talk about depression, we talk about worry. There's a lot of things going on in people's mind. มีมีหลายสิ่งหลายอย่างที่กำลังเกิดขึ้นในแนวคิดที่ใจของพี่น้องความซับซ้อนความน้อยใจความท้อแท้ใจของชีวิตหลายสิ่งหลายอย่าง but only way that can we get we can get rid of this thing thing that when we trust in the Lord that when we put Him first. to be number one first. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible Jesus told His disciple in Matthew six thirty three seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and He will add all things unto you. Amen. Seek God first. 
Seek his kingdom first. Amen. Seek his righteousness first. Put God to be the number one in our life. Yes, Lord. Then everything will come in order. It, but sometimes we think, I want this first, I want that first. It's not God. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, have to be our first priority in our life. In order for us that can live our life and rejoice. Did the Bible describe my tongue rejoice? The word rejoice means as rejoice. It not rejoice just not only one time. Not just come and Sunday rejoice and go home and sad and angry and mad again. Not kind of attitude. The word rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Are we rejoice this morning? We not, come on. Are we rejoice this morning? Are we sad? Don't be sad in the house of God. Amen. Are we rejoice? Tell somebody next to you. Rejoice the Lord. Rejoice. Come on. Tell them. Tell them. Rejoice the Lord. Rejoice. Come on. Rejoice. Come on. Happy smile. Don't be cranky and you know and mad angry. That's not the kind of life that God wants us to have. No, some people just come to church, they will smile. <laughs> what is going on? It's in your heart. If your heart is full with joy, it will express on your face. Now, we need to receive joy Amen. from the Lord because He is a joy giver. Amen? Amen. And not just talking about the heart, not talk, talking about the tongue, but also the body. Yeah. The body will rest. You know, sometimes we go oh, non-stop, non-stop. Yeah. No rest. I'm, talk, I'm not talking about serving. I'm talking about do all this stuff. Our body, we searching for this, we go in non-stop. You see people work in restaurants. Even on the weekend, they didn't have time to rest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Business, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. And all the things that we work sometimes, you know, we don't even have time to use the money that we work. Some, some people don't even have time to live that long. But God said, we will rest. Amen? But we have to learn how to rest. You know why? The Bible said, this body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We need to take care of body. God is in you, in me. God is in you, in me. So we need to offer this body to praise Him, to be a living sacrifice. How do I have the hand of the But many people don't have time to rest because they don't put God first. When they put God first, and God will teach us in order. You see, the Bible says, number 10. Because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will let your holy one see the clay. The word holy one is capital. It refers to Christ. A prophecy is talking about Christ that he will die three days. But on the third day, he will rose again. God will not abandon them, him. Same thing in our life. God will not abandon us because he said he promised he will not leave us to be the orphan. He will come back. Amen. God will not leave us, but his promise that he will be with us until the end of the age. Matthew 28, the, the last word. Jesus promised that he will be with us, that we should be happy. Amen. 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 Amen.